in order to even do it. Or no, I'm missing three. Um, I might... It looks like it's those little circular things. Um, those are explosive. So I need one more in order to open that up. So there's not one more around here. Let me uh, change ADS real quick. Also, is that? I mean, I guess that's correct resolution. Motion blur. Let's turn that off. Audio. How's the audio been so far? Is it good? I'm going to bump it down just a little bit because I feel like if some loud moments, it might get really loud. Uh, UI. It's quiet. Oh, really? Really? I mean, it's all the way up. Okay, I'm going to... I will leave it at 100 for now then. Uh, assuming... Only when close starts... Wait. Only show dialogue skill stats if you're close to succeeding. Oh, let's show always. Right? Yeah. Quest updates. Timed fade. Notification duration. Companion outlines. Off. On always show companion. Combat only during combat. I'm going to do combat only. Uh, what's your desktop, desktop slider to? It's uh, all the way up. <laughs> I haven't done anything at all. Uh, I mean, maybe... I mean, that shouldn't affect it either. Interesting. I don't know. We'll see. Um, maybe it's just like the beginning of the game. It's a little quiet. Yeah, that's why. But this shouldn't affect it. Because this... I'm pretty sure it doesn't affect it at all. Because I'm using NDI. Like the actual volume. But, I don't know. We'll see. Oh, yeah, that is it. Wow, it does affect it. I totally did not know that. What? Really? Wow. What? I did not know that. Actually, though. Wow. I can't believe I'm just finding this out. So whatever I would, I totally didn't know that. I just mess with the desktop audio slider and leave everything else at default. Wow. This entire time, every single game I go into, I would turn it down. But if I just turn it down right here, like, so technically if I have it all the way down, wow, you don't actually, I can't believe this. I'm like dumbfound right now. I never knew that. Well, okay. Now I know. I can't believe it took me that long to realize. I've literally never had to change volume in game then, if that's the case. <laughs> but I've always gone through. Anyways, uh, let me get back to this. Hold. Is there a way I can turn it to back? How do I toggle ADS? Button laid out. Mouse sensitivity. I always, I always Windows volume and 100% and mess with desktop audio because my streams were quiet in the beginning when I figured that out. That's why. Okay. Huh. And I realized. Companion. Bro, where is. There's got to be, right? You would think. Is there something that says right click? Aim block. There really isn't anything for gameplay. UI. Ugh. I'm not used to to aiming down holding aim down sights at all. Your mic audio is always louder than the game, it's just the game audio is on the quiet side. 
yeah i, I mean i don't want to i don't want the game audio to be that quiet but i don't want to be that much louder than actual game yeah keep i didn't even change the graphic settings okay so technically wow dude i i i'm really like dumbfounded right now i never realized I'd always turn the in-game audio down, rather than just turning my audio down. Huh? So that should be a lot better now, too. I feel like 70, 80 is probably the sweet, sweet spot. <laughs> it's like execution. Adios, muchacho. Whoops. Audio balance is a pain in the ass. Yeah, it can be. Audio and stream quality are the two biggest things for me. Don't know where you came from, stranger, but you best keep your head down. There's marauders hereabouts, and worse, landing violators. Call on that rung leech. Landing in the veil without using an official spacer's choice landing pad. I'd slap him with a fine if it weren't for all these marauders. Yeah, audio is probably about. number one for me too. Uh, I'd slap with a. Uh, okay. This a landing violation. Let it go. Out of your mind? No way. Once we've dealt with these marauders, I'm hunting that sick freak down. I just, you know, need a couple of winks to catch my breath, stretch my legs some. Sure. Do Spacer's Choice Guards back down from a challenge? Well, sometimes. Management's real good at cost-benefit analysis. But, seeing as I'm the acting manager in this situation, you know Try what? 80%. You're right. It's time we cross those marauders off, find whoever owns that ship, and file a full report. Then it's gonna be fucking laminated. Whoa. Here we go. Okay. Well, I guess they're gonna help now. Oh, that. So that's my ship. The only thing is, I feel like the combat is gonna be pretty loud at times. Nice. Yeah, that's better. You think? It's not too loud, even when shooting. Please be informed that this vessel contains no valuable plunder. Nah, okay. Unauthorized access of spacefaring vessels is a crime. Please submit yourself to the authority. Hello, Marauder. I am Ada, the autonomous digital Not a marauder. of this vessel. Please be informed that I am authorized to use violent retribution it against really good. solicitors. Please return any misappropriated equipment and exit this vessel in an orderly fashion. Failure to do so will result in your immediate destruction. If it's too loud for you, you can turn it down to 75. No, it's fine for me. Um, what are you going to do? Self-destruct? Oh, no. No, 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 That's terrifying. You realize we're on the ground, ground right? You are still here. My deception protocols have failed. Huh. I have been programmed to express disappointment. That face though, dude, that's those eyes are like kind of scary. I know you get the ship in the air. I am incapable of accepting orders from anyone other than Captain Alex Hawthorne. Hawthorne was supposed to meet me here when I landed. I deduce from the tone of your voice that Captain Hawthorne failed to meet you at the designated location. Hawthorne's dead. I'm sorry. I understand. I will require some time to process this information. Thank you for your patience and for your honesty. I am programmed to take orders exclusively from Captain Hawthorne. If I accept your orders, then you must be Captain Hawthorne. Do you understand? I get it. You need to be Cap you need me to be Captain Hawthorne, or you can't fly. Well done, Captain Hawthorne. I see Hawthorne. your powers of deductive reasoning remain intact. Unfortunately, our engine is currently inoperable. Cue our the sad music. <laughs> a power failure, and we were forced to make an emergency landing. 
The main drive's power regulator has been irreparably damaged and must be replaced. I doubt I'll find a part like that just sitting in a garage. Astutely observed. However, the probability of locating a power regulator within a worker settlement falls within acceptable parameters of certainty. High capacity power regulators are sometimes employed in the electrical networks of worker settlements. I have taken the liberty of printing you a new captain's identity cartridge. Please try not to lose it this time. This cartridge identifies you, Alex Hawthorne, as the registered proprietor and captain of the unreliable. The unreliable. Yeah, Ada, I got it. Thanks. Best of luck in your search for a power regulator. She try reminds me of, uh, from New Vegas. Try to stay alive this time. Um, she reminds me of the house from Fallout New Vegas, like the house computer. Congratulations, you've gained an experience to level up. Uh, open your character ledger, advance your character, leveling up increases health points and gives you blah 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 basic leveling stuff. Uh, let's open up this. Skill improvements, every time you level up you earn one, improves all of your specialized skills and group up to maximum of 50. After 50 you can add points directly to specialized skills up to 100. Uh, special unlock bonus occurs every 20 points. So how many do you get per level? Okay, so you get 10. Nice. Nice. That's cool. Uh, let me see. Points placed in a core skill melee will increase specialized skills. Okay. So you put it into this thing, and then does it go into the next thing? Ah, okay. I see, I see. Uh, revert. Reverse, reverse. Uh, what happens when I get these? Cower durations. Coward target. Wait. Cower. Humans have 20% chance to cower in fear for three seconds after the first time you hit them. Interesting. Lie. Uh, scramble. 50% chance auto chemicals will slowly attack other enemies instead of you. Mechanical. Okay. That's cool, actually. 20% chance creatures will become terrified and flee for 10 seconds after you kill one. Nice. Ooh. I like that. Hack, uh, turn them off for three seconds. Vending machines. Lock pick. Tinkering cost. All right, let's... Let's get these to 20, or inspiration to 20, companion health. Uh, I'm gonna leave leadership at, at that right now. Once I get my companion, then I'll get determination to 20. Inhaler, uh, inhaler heals you and your companions, but they get 30% of the healing effect. Okay, nice. Yeah, I'm gonna, uh, once I get my companion, then I'll bump that up. For now, I'm just gonna put it at that. Um, ranged. Yeah, we should definitely get these to 20. Defense, don't really care. At least hack is already at 25. All these are pretty much set too. I mean, I could get these to 40. Cower duration, scramble. And they increase my, uh, eventually they increase. Um, so you get armor for persuade you get higher damage for lie when they're scrambled and then for terrify you get crit so these are awesome like pretty good stats even though it's just dialogue um luck ttd location hit effects and then these are all, same thing handgun long guns and heavy weapons uh i'm gonna put most of my points into that then so that way maybe one more Hand guns, long guns, heavy. Yeah, let's do that. Uh, perks. Let's hit accept. 
Okay, welcome to perk selection. On this screen, you can choose perks to buy with your perk points. You get a new perk point to spend every two levels. You can also acquire perk points through gameplay, such as accepting a flaw. Acquiring five new perks makes the next tier to the perks available to you. Okay. Obviously, gotta go with the XP. Um, I've seen a few people look over these. My personal opinion, always go for XP because now you're going to get more XP faster. Um, you get 50% XP from companion kills. That can add up. So definitely take that. But I'll look over these, pil or these perks too. So you can get health, tactical, TTD, uh, damage when alone in a party. Pretty much never going to do that. Walk speed, 25. Okay, that's cool. Durability loss. Companion crit chance. That's nice. Uh, base armor rating. Additional ammo stock uh, stock on vendors. And consumable on vendors. Eh. Compar carrying capacity, that would definitely be good. TTD re recharge rate. Fast travel when encumbered. That could be very useful. Vendor prices go down. Um... Requires five previous perks. I'll keep looking right now. Movement penalty. That's cool. TTD restored per kill. Science weapon damage. Movement speed during TTD. Bonus to extra headshot slash weak spot. Highlight range. Increase the range at which your interactable objects around you highlight without requiring you to look directly at them. Vendor price. Or vendor buying price dialogue skills bonus to dialogue skills when you have uh, no companions in your party yeah. I'm gonna make use of my companions 20% <laughs> companion ability cooldowns for each of your kills that's cool I really like that tag team chance to reset a companions when you use when using the other companions. So that's when you have two companions, you use one ability, the other one has a 25% chance of recharging. That's cool. And then there's also 25% chance to reset an ability on each critical hit. That's also really cool. Uh, next attack after killing an enemy is a guaranteed critical hit. That's neat, I like that. Skill bonus and armor rating, carry capacity, movement speed, damage, just basic 20% damage boost, that's nice. AoE damage, companion revive to 25, or com revive companions to 25%. When using inhaler, any down companions are revived with a small amount of health, that's cool. You don't even need to run to them. Headshot kills explode, damaging enemies nearby. Whoa, that's interesting and kind of cool. And then it looks like, so all these skills can be leveled up like three times. So I'm assuming, okay, so yeah, since I put one right now, it's at, I think it's at 25%. But if I put another skill in, it'll go to 50%. Then another, it'll go to 75, I'm assuming. Because it looks like, like right now I have the bottom bar and there's one to the left and to the right. Unless if it's just, actually it might just be two times. Yeah, it looks like it might be two. Okay. Either way, still cool. Oh, never mind. When you accept it, the whole entire thing goes full. Okay. Whoa. What happened to these? I thought we... I thought I accepted that. Uh, okay. Accept? Yes. Uh, companion ability abilities. Press C for our companion ability one and V for companion ability two. Cool. Well, I don't have companions yet. Uh, you can have up to four weapons. Take care of your weapons. They'll take care of your enemies. Okay. Uh, so we have light pistol, light pistol. And we can break these down on the go. Weapon parts. These are the same, right? DPS, DPS. Yep. Looks like it. 
Same thing with these. Yep. All right, let's put this guy number four. Uh, we did get armor. Drag it for that. Okay. So these are all the same. Drag that. Kind of look... Dude looks like dead space. Also, I really like my how my character looks too. <laughs> look at those things. I love the character customization. Um, I think I'm going to have to turn... I think... I'm pretty sure there's an option to turn off... Um, the helmet. So, I think I'm going to do that. Here can use junk consumables. Okay. And then... That's adrenaline. Car carbohydrates. Natural health regeneration for two minutes. Base health. Natural health. 200, 200. Uh, that's some brewskis. Modifications. General. Mag pack. Weapons. Armor. Quests. Okay. Let's go to journal. Complete. Okay. That's currently active. Good. On this screen, you can see information on active and completed quests as well as change your current active quests. I'm assuming that's the previous screen. Um, hit settings real quick. Where do you go for... I think it's gameplay. Show player helmet. Yeah, it's disabled that. Uncheck this to keep your head visible at all times. This does not uh, affect your stats. Yeah, I like that. Say, for now, this wouldn't happen to be your ship, nice would it? Hey, thanks. Because you sure walked <laughs> in it like it was your ship. And if this ship is yours, well, mister, you owe Spacer's Choice a hefty fine. Afraid we gotta dock your pay. Uh, I don't have a job. Got it all wrong. Do you take down payments in wanton or wanton violence? I'm gonna say, I don't have a job. I'll wave your fee since you helped us with those marauders. Yeah. If you're looking for work, talk to the constable down in Edgewater. She's got a bounty on marauders. Edgewater's not too far. Just follow the road east of here, over past the cemetery. Now, if you'll excuse me, I need to inspect the crime scene before I make my report. Sounds good. Take care. All right. So, 300 meters. I need some water. I'm all out right now. So, I... I guess we'll we'll head over there afterwards then I'll, I'll grab some water let's see it's a landing site map doesn't look too big but it is um it looks like it's fairly decent size marauder ah Boom headshot. Got him. It's good. Uh, apparently people don't like it if you wear Marauder uh, outfits too. I haven't gotten any armor yet. At least I don't think. Yeah, I just have my hibernation suit. Wait, what happens? If So that's what you look like with it off. <laughs> I was curious. Kind of look like a, like a portal outfit. Something like that. Okay. Anything right here? Is it coffin? Oh, hey. Where'd you come from? What's up, mate? Don't go ambling out in those hills. That's marauder territory, friend. I'm just passing through. Ain't safe out here. You'd best head into town. Avail yourself of Edgewater's high walls and low, low prices. I never got your name. I'm Cat. Pleased to make your acquaintanceship. I'd shake your hand, but I've been hauling corpses. You don't want none of that on you. Name's Silas. Junior in humor for the town of Edgewater. We're all part of the Spacer's Choice family. 
Who do I talk to about a power regulator? Definitely not the junior in humor, that's for sure. If you've got business inquiries, you should stop by Reed Thompson's office. He's up in the tower above the cannery. Head into town, follow the road. Look, you obviously ain't a worker. What's your racket? You a smuggler? Freelancer? Depends on the work. You offer me a job? Edgewater is a company town, board owned and operated. That includes the cemetery. None of us own our grave sites. We rent them from the company. Renting means money. Money means paperwork. Paperwork means signatures. Some of our families become a mite delinquent in paying their dues, you see? You want me to collect what's owed to you? I can do that. Four workers still haven't paid up. Phyllis, Conrad, Ludwig, and Martin Abernathy. He's a special case. You may want to twist his arm a little. Where can I find these people? Conrad's got a barbershop in town. Phyllis works at the cannery most hours. Abernathy... I ain't seen him in a few days. His domicile is near the cannery. You'll find him in town. All except Ludwig, that is. He's over by the landing pad. There's something else I wanted to ask you. Yeah? This town must be in pretty bad shape if it's keeping you employed. You could look at it that way, I suppose. You could look at us and say, those Edgewater saps lost near every soul to plague. But you'd be wrong. We're survivors. Loyal company folk, brave in the wilds. You're not worried about falling sick? Every now and again, a virulent plague sweeps through our town. That's life on the frontier, I suppose. A body grows accustomed. How long have you been a gen uh, junior in humor, gravedigger, whatever? Hang on, I'm doing some math in my head. Uh, 20, 30, carry the one... What? Uh, all my life? Work's been real good to me. Huh. Fresh air, exercise... Yep, Only fresh air and you're some dead bodies. Can't get anybody to pay their gravesite fees. Alright, that's all for now. Okay. Press tracker displays objectives for active quests. You can change the active quest in the quest log in your ledger. Alright, let's uh, we'll get inside here and then once we load up, I'm just gonna grab some water real quick. Um, real quick, grab some water, we save, uh, I'm gonna hit this, so that way we don't get a pre 